my friends. Thanks so much for stopping by once again on Dr. Dave's Cheap Ass Beer Reviews. Remember, my friends, just because it's a cheap ass beer doesn't mean it's a bad beer. It means it didn't cost a lot of money. And today's entry into that category is Yingling Light Lager. Oh, out of Pottsville, Pennsylvania. Now, reportedly, this is America's oldest brewery. I'll tell you a little bit later how to check that out with my good buddy, Jay Terrio. But in the meantime, let's talk about this beer that has 99 calories. Ooh, and what does it have? 4% alcohol by volume? Now, it has a Best Buy date on the bottom. Believe me, we're well within the confines of the Best Buy date. Let's go ahead and open this up. That was a healthy sound, huh? The Dr. Dave's Cheap Ass Beer Reviews Glassware. Yeah, I designed that myself. Lovely, huh? It's a 14 ounce glass, and we have a 16 ounce beer. Let's go ahead and get the job done, Private Pile. Now, I poured that in rather aggressively because, generally speaking, American lagers, and especially light lagers, are going to be rather flat if you try to tilt the glass at a 45-degree angle. But here, now, if I walked into a bar, that's how I want my beer shoved across the bar, looking just like that. It's a very light golden color. Got a little orange tinge to it. Yeah, it looks quite nice. It's made a uh, fluffy white head. So you can see my cheap ass on there. I don't know how well you can read it, but it says Dr. Dave's cheap ass beer reviews at the bottom. Yeah, I had these custom made. Yeah, they're really cool, aren't they? See what kind of aroma we can pick up on this. Now, the beer is not ice cold. It sat out on this table for about five minutes. But let's see what it's all about. Man, I'm telling you, I get a lot of grains in there and some sweetness. I don't know if this is brewed with corn, but I strongly suspect it is. Now, that head is pretty pretty rocky for a macro lager. Yeah, it's just grainy and sweet. Hey, we're going to thank the brewers at Yingling Brewery because I don't care what kind of beer it is. I don't care if it's computerized or hand hand batch beer is a labor intensive process and if you don't believe it take a tour of your local microbrewery no need to go to the, one of those big huge breweries take a tour of your local brewery watch how much loving care goes into brewing your beer you'll think differently about it i guarantee you. hey cheers to the brewers at yingling and to you at home no doubt Well, thankfully, it smells sweet, but it doesn't taste sweet. And that's because it's relatively cold. And that's the secret to drinking macro lagers from America. Keep them cold until you're ready to drink them. And I'm not kidding one bit. Man. I'm telling you, I've had uh, uh, the gamut of macro lagers that I thought I would never drink in my life since I've been doing these cheap ass beer reviews. If you keep them cold enough, they're consumable. They are consumable. Would I want to drink them on a regular basis though? No, I wouldn't. No. Yeah, that really smells sweet, but it's not coming through in the taste. I doubt very much if high fructose corn syrup is used in this recipe because most brewers will print it right on the can or the bottle. This does not contain high fructose corn syrup. Now it's too dark in here. I can't read because that's what happens when you get old. You can't read when there's low light. But I didn't see on here anything about um, Hi, for, as a matter of fact, let me, I can read this. Give me a second here. Um, well, I thought I could read it. Mm, according to the Surgeon General, yada, yada, yada. 
Uh, don't drink and drive, yada, yada, yada. Uh, I don't see anything about high fructose corn syrup, but I'm betting dollars to donuts. You ever hear that saying, dollars to donuts? Uh, yeah, I just don't think there's high fructose uh, corn syrup. Now, this beer, though, now that it's been sitting on this table for five minutes and I've let another five minutes go by talking about it, it's going to have to be consumed rather quickly or it's going to have to go back in the fridge. And I find out once you put it back in the fridge and try to drink it again, it has this horrible flat taste to it. I'm not talking about just this beer. I'm talking about macro lagers in general. But I'm not going to knock this beer. It is what it is. And wait till you hear why it's a cheap ass beer. Okay, this is a 16 ounce can. It was $1.19 at a gas station. $1.19. So 1.19. And what you do is you want to break it down to the number of ounces. So you divide it by 16. And here's our per ounce cost. That's per ounce. And so what you do then is you multiply it by 12 because here in the United States, still everything is based, based upon a 12 ounce can. And there's your price, 89 cents for a 12-ounce can, and that's what makes Yingling Light Lager a cheap-ass beer. It's not bad, though. It, it's non-offensive. It doesn't taste sweet to me. It's a light-bodied beer. It's a light, extremely light-bodied beer. It's not thin. I'm not going to go that far. I'm not going to say it's watery. It's not watery. It's got some body to it, but it's off in the distance, right? Uh, the carbonation is extremely light. There's not that much carbonation flowing up from the bottom, although I can see carbonation coming up there. I don't think you can see it, but I can see it sitting right in front of it. So low carbonation. Light bodied, and it would not offend anybody. It's not. It's not horribly sweet to me. Matter of fact, I don't get any sweetness. Again, another cheap ass beer review where Doctor Dave says it's not horrible if you keep it cold enough. That's the secret. Keep it cold. All right, my friends. Hey, there you go. Dr. Dave's cheap ass beer review. And um, if you're going to drink that beer at a backyard barbecue, I recommend that you have a tub of ice that you keep it in until you're ready to drink it. And then at that magical moment, drink it within 10 minutes or else you'll be sorry. <laughs> hey, life is short. Be happy. Try new things. Go ahead. Give this a try. Hey, and you know what? If you have to worry about how many calories are in a beer, perhaps you shouldn't drink the beer. That's straight from Dr. Dave. Until we meet next time, here's wishing all of you the very best of goodbyes. And as always, cheers. <laughs>